Well, hello everybody, we'll see you in the whole universe, I hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings forth to my own experiences and today we're gonna dive into the interesting thing called exam of methodology, how to speak Russian language, yes, methodology of pedagogical things, I, I, I mean that how to teach Russian language, okay, it is kind of a super long name of the, of the, <laughs> of the subject that I learned, I will show you right now the the primarne вопрос exachoto it means uh, the specific questions maybe these questions will be asked on an exam that i will will be today after maybe one hour and 40 minutes it will be and right now we will prepare with you because i want to make it good i want to rehearse because i'm a good student i mean that i kind of like to rehearse because i want to be confident in my speech okay and we are with you right now preparing first of all i will read this list and you maybe will understand what i speak about maybe you will not understand i will try to to make it understandable for you and <laughs> understandable for me because sometimes I read this first time, okay, this uh, list of things. First of all, methodological, <laughs> methodological basis of methodics of teaching Russian language, okay, it is kind of the basis of pedagogy in Russian language. What uh, what the hell is it? Huh? <laughs> you may be asking. The main main thing it is uh, the basis is need to know the target audience of what who you speak for. Maybe you are a guy uh, like I imagine I am a teacher. Yes, and I should know who I speak speak to to the someone from uh, Nigeria, maybe from Africa or maybe United States or for Russian people, children, small children or maybe businesswoman who is maybe 30 years old and she wants to improve her language, Russian language in a meaning of like professional communication, we are here, bonjour, comme ça va and something like this, Francais <laughs> speaking language but in Russian. I mean that we have different types of Russian language languages. I mean, in the types it is uh, the for uh, business communication for colloquial communication maybe informal formal and in english the same thing yes it is you can apply it even for english you may be understand yes you will say hey dude how are you doing what's up you can say it to everybody yes in in a mini of like conversational things if you are really buddies and you uh, hang out uh, every thursday and friday with this friend on a bar on this line of of the irish irish streets yes but if uh, you are you are kind of uh, conferencier and you are speaking to the audience in a way of uh, your mathematician you speak kind of oh this permutations permutations numbers math class wow mathematical approaches to to do things it is the same for russian language if you want to teach someone a russian language need to do need to know who's your target audience is yes you know who your target audience what are the requests of this target audience because if you are teaching in a school yes you have requests from the governmental things government wants that hey dude you should you should teach them syntax grammar of something like how words constructed and maybe some text about Russian Federation we are a military country and we are for the military uh, you understand this talk uh, I, I don't agree with military I, I understand why we have military but Jesus Christ uh, let's love each other okay and uh, about uh, about this uh, request. Request maybe will be from businesswoman. Businesswoman says to you, I want to write a really nice, nice language in my business emails. Okay, good. Her request, we understand, it means that we should uh, should teach her how to write essay, like beginning words, ending words, and the body of her talk, okay? And uh, we should know this. And she talks uh, like, I want this way. Next, uh, if 
the request of the government that we should know about Russia, Russian text, Russian authors like Nikolai Gogol, Dostoevsky, Pushkin, also Lermontov, Mikhail Yurovich, and uh, other people from Russian, Russian authors, writers like great, the greatest uh, people in Russia in a way of uh, literature, then okay, we will provide this. And uh, then we, when we know what the request of this person, then we create a program for them. It is kind of program creating. You are already in a role not of a teacher, you are in a role of the I am the creator of the program to teach the people. If you create your own course about it. If you are for uh, governmental, they have their own course and you kind of apply goals for their things. Okay? Next. And also about methodology, it is kind of Again, maybe uh, my teacher today will ask me, hey, Igor, and uh, what about psychological things? And I will say, yes, psychological is really nice stuff, it's statistical, it's maybe not super fully truthful, but statistically truthful, okay? And <laughs> statistic uh, statistical means that kind of uh, sometimes yes, but sometimes no, but sometimes mostly yes, but uh, sometimes not. Uh, but uh, okay, it's psychological, it's not a math class when you can say kind of yes, it's objective, uh, one, two, three, four, five, only we know these numbers, but it is psychological, kind of statistically, yes, we should do this, but sometimes we have individuals, and uh, it means that uh, your psychological approach will not work so good for some types of people. The more you practice, the better you are, that's all. It is what we should know. Okay, next. Fundamental, <laughs> fundamental terms and categories of methodics. Jesus Christ, I don't know what the hell is it, but <laughs> really, I don't know what's, what is it in... Uh, in uh, I, I'm not super prepared for it, I didn't read books about this stuff, but I think that it is kind of... Okay, let's, let's be logical, Igor. Fundamental terms and categories of methodics. A category of methodics for what kind of people you speak. You can speak for an audience of one person, or you can speak for huge audience, huge, like, a lot of people. You will speak, and for each of them you will use different methodics, and also practices, and laboratories. Maybe it will be kind of active things, maybe you will use plays, plays like you are a Shakespeare, and you are doing your pedagogical stuff as plays. It means not plays as uh, the location, but plays like uh, it is uh, something, really. The theater. Maybe it will be Russian language in a theater form, and uh, you can use different types of approaches to do this. You can do this for audience of one person, you can do this with many types of people. It is about like we have in Russian language Dilava Igra, it means the game. You can play the game with people to learn some rules. For example, you need to learn a rule like uh, where is the <laughs> where is the where is the preposition preposition yes i think so preposition preposition e in russian language it is and yes you have where the preposition e should be placed and uh, you kind of play the game okay peter come here and you will be standing here vova come he come here uh, faster 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 schneller and you will stand here and i will be the preposition e it means i connect you let's let's uh, give me your five, you give me your five, okay? We are standing and <laughs> kind of take each other with hands and uh, you, we are shaking, I kind of connect you and it is uh, something logic, it is logical approach by the way and uh, logic in your in your uh, <laughs> in your Russian language pedagogical stuff, okay next uh, and also we should know methodics we choose them previously because of the target audience for whom and who you are and for them and uh, what's their request starts from request because if you do something without request then it will be kind of maybe not useful maybe this person is already known about it yes need to say about something that people wants to know Yes, if he wants to know about how to, how to learn, for example, maybe you have an author 
who wants to be really like proof he always he always hires like i'm a writer i'm an author of a book yes and i always hire a person for like a proofreader who always checks editor like checks my grammar mistakes and syntax mistakes and orth orthography mistakes and then jesus christ i I spent a lot of money on this proofreader. I want to do this by my own. I right now will do classes with you. I will spend once and then return of investment Roy will come back to me because I invested money on it. But it means that I will not invest money in, in proofreading. I will do this by my own. It means that I will be a greater author. I will be a better kind of writer, yes? And I will write without mistake and without... Uh, I will save my time, yes, by learning it. So, okay, method... Uh, me fundamental things we learned. Methods of research. Okay, methods of research. We have kind of... Uh, we can ask people. We can create... In Russian language it is called aprosy. Means that we speak with people. Like, hey dudes, we do statistics. Uh, asking from you, asking from you, and from you, from you, from from you, or maybe logical. We can uh, logic we can create because of our previous experience with talking. It is uh, almost statistical too. It is kind of research we do. It is asking, hey guys, so what do you like, and uh, how, what did you understand? Kind of feedback. Feedback you should ask after the work and. Uh, it is a good thing to improve your methodology of uh, of learning. How many you learned, the better they learned, it means the better your approach. Good, good, amazing. Communicative methodics of, of pedagogy, rational language. It means that you improve your communication through communication, yes? For example, you want to learn how to speak Russian and you are a foreign person, yes? You are a foreign person and uh, you want to improve your speaking in Russian, not like writing, not listen, but listening to sometimes. And you want to make it in like tete-a-tete -tete thing. It is tete-a-tete uh, -tete means uh, the face-to-face -face, and you are speaking here with uh, with the person and you have mistakes and this person is already what did you mean by this and uh, maybe it will be better to use this Ooh, do you know about it and when he is aware kind of then it's good it's kind of from a movie about the drummer i forget what's the name of it okay and uh, Communicative uh, we learned and also the same with uh, Russian uh, people. I mean that uh, if not for foreigners, but for natives, you do kind of communication. What is uh, the what is the understandable thing? What was the most hardest thing? What was kind of what's the room for improvements? Yes. Next psychological psychological basis of uh, of learning Russian language. It is about active listening, like you should active listen and also asking questions like uh, what what do you mean by it? Yes, yes, amazing. And what do you mean? And uh, did you think about this way? Did you think about this way? Not like a, uh, it's it's not only this way approach. Not uh, it is only this way. We learn this man guy, not the in other ways, but uh, you kind of do it, uh, uh, do it uh, euphemistically. Euphemistically means kind of uh, softer, kind of light uh, version you kind of speak. Hey, did you think about this approach? Did you think about this? Maybe it will be better. Did you think about it? And uh, it is not like a, a hey dude, let's like look at this. But did you think? It means you are asking. Asking it means that uh, you are not kind of saying to this person, yes, do this, but you kind of... Uh, <laughs> they choose from it, okay? Didactic основы обучения русскому языку. One moment I need to learn it. What is what the hell? Didactические Didactically, didactically, <laughs> это, <laughs> it means, uh, what, what the hell is it? Наставительный, поучительный, didактический, окей, okay. and, uh, поучительный, имеющий характер поучения, наставление, окей, okay. and, uh, okay, okay, it means that you should, uh, it is the same thing, Did didактически means that you should, uh, 
teach someone didactics. I don't. I think so. It is the same kind of when you, when you not speak fully to the person, but kind of did you think about this way? It should be kind of aware, awareness inside of heads of them. Jesus, so super understandable things. I don't know why we, <laughs> why we should speak about it. It is uh, kind of didactic, didactics, okay? And uh, we, we kind of ask questions from people. Next, Russian language as a subject in a, in a mini of Goss. And of Goss, it is one moment. Let's uh, take a look. It is something Russian. Федеральный государственный образовательный стандарт. It means the specific governmental stuff. Yes, it is about how it should be. Okay, for for five to nine grades, for specific like gov government says said to us that it should be this way, it should be this way, and specific standards. Standards in the meaning that to make our country great again, like you are from America and kind of let's make America great again, and uh, I'm from Russia, let's make Russia great great again, great again. Yes, and uh, it is the same. Uh, we have governmental governmental uh, gov governmental standards, and we follow them, and we speak about them, and uh, it is kind of easy. You. They are always changing. What we should know, it is always changing. By government, they are smart. They are thinking about how to make our government, uh, our country better. In the meaning of like talking with other countries too. And so with talking with our own country. Like to make, to improve our VVP. It means valovoy valovoy, how to say it, внутренний uh, valovoy product. It means uh, kind of the amount gross gross level gross level it is kind of uh, economical thing and the better our education the the better and the russian language and uh, as ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> it is kind of hard question because need to learn of ghost so one moment of ghost uh, ruski yazyk need to google it ruski yazyk need to read what what the hell is about one moment <laughs> And here is uh, t -t 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 something like, ah, okay, that everybody should know, kind of, you should be active, people should be improving themselves. Метапредметы, включающие освоение обучающих межпредметных понятий, универсальных учебных действий, регулятивные, познавательные, коммуникативные способности их использования в учебной, познавательной и социальной практике, самостоятельность, планирование, осуществление учебной практики, да. It, it means kind of that we have connections with another, with another subjects. Meta предметный means meta subject. Meta subject means that uh, we learn Russian language also in a way of connecting with geography, with biology, with something else, with another stuff, and uh, it should be connected to each other, like. Everybody in gov government, they are not thinking like, let's take a look at uh, the Russian language, we will learn something like uh, Lermontov, and then let's take a look at Africa, <laughs> and uh, it is not connected. If, if we will talk about, like, let's go to Pushkin, and on geography, we will learn about Tsarske Selo, it means that specific village of Pushkin, yes, and uh, it will be nice. Like it is connected, and uh, when everything is connected, then the person thinks kind of yes, it is all connected, kind of good shape, strong, strong knowledge, and it is the same as in your country. We will talk about Stephen King, and in the same Stephen King, for example, but it's kind of new. It is not like an old and golden era of uh, of literature, maybe I don't know. And uh, when we talk about uh, the Stephen King books. Then we talk about Maine. Maine is the state of uh, America. And about this place, like where they lived. And when we talk about uh, Conan Doyle, I don't know, Conan Doyle, uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, British writer, he is, is he from London, uh, Edinburgh. Yes, and when we speak about uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, we speak about Edinburgh, yes, United Kingdom. It means we learn about the this location okay and next uh, the main uh, the main things of основные положения в гос okay we will save it 
it means where where are they общее положение it means ah let's let's take a look and uh, we have standard is the main thing and uh, standard is created to create kind of identity of uh, learners also make it uh, available to have a good education high quality and to create kind of connection inner connection with people and also to improve our Russia, Russian, uh, Russian society and uh, kind of these things also make uh, make the preparation for the audience to do their own their own self-education and kind of <laughs> kind of consistent consistent education also make a pre pre projection they should do pro projects amazing and also they do active 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 things active learning good and also indiv individuals построение образовательного процесса с учетом индивидуальных возрастных а it means that it should be a kind of individual for every person it should be individual for nine years old who is maybe <laughs> with only one leg and uh, it should be the same for a person like uh, like individual for 11 years old who is a giant maybe or elf and uh, it should be amazing. I'm I'm not kind of I don't want to be kind of uh, I mean aggressive to the people who are with one leg. It it it's said only in a funny way to as a joke, maybe a so hard joke. Okay, I hope that you understand jokes kind of even this way. It is it's without meaning of ha 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 ha. Let's take a look. Let's let let's take a look at these things uh, as funny it's not funny if you have it yes sometimes you can f have funny times it means that i'm not kind of uh, i don't want uh, to be offensive okay guys it is kind of uh, let's take a look at this at classic comedy okay as a classic comedy and <laughs> dark humor okay and the standard uh, okay the doings okay and everybody and uh, Standard должен быть положен в основу деятельности. It means that the standard war the standard works for workers, for like rulers, managers, for employees, also the the developers of things, authors of uh, some literature and uh, people of this nature. Okay, good, I learned it. Next, federal, uh, okay, личностные, метапредметные, предметные результаты обучения русскому языку. It means that we have kind of личностные, means personal. It means you learn kind of personal stuff about yourself. And let's take a look again. <laughs> личностные, включающие готовность к способности обучающей саморазвитию и личностному самоопределению. It means about like, I'm, I'm, who am I? <laughs> to be or not to be, there is a question, okay? It is личностные, it means personal. Метапредметные, as I said before, it is kind of we should know about geography and biology by learning Russian, we learn also this subject, it's amazing. And предметные means the specific things of this specific uh, language, like we should learn about Russian language in the meaning of uh, Russian language, like syntax. Super syntax, uh, syntax of Russian language is super like uh, inside of the it is subject uh, subject subject and so specific thing conception of uh, pedagogy Russian language and literature okay the same we should uh, know who is the target audience and uh, we should know what do they want and we should create a plan amazing we have a plan and uh, the main approaches uh, for uh, for teaching anthropocentric oh jesus christ it is uh, some new words and i i really know the concepts but the name of the uh, concepts need to google them to understand it Ad anthropocentric anthropocentric one moment it means uh, it means anthropocentrism what the hell Философическое идеалистическое мировоззрение представление, согласно которой человек есть средото средоточие вселенной и цель всех совершающихся в мире событий. Jesus. It means uh, anthropocentric. 
it means that uh, kind of we learn from our ourself axiologically axiologically one moment axiologically axiologia природа ценностей one moment anthropocentrically english version from ancient uh, human being Okay, center. Human being as a center. Okay, human as reason. It is kind of, we should know about, it is human-like thing to people. Humanity. Good, good, good. Amazing. Axiologia. Теория ценностей, раздел философия. Связанная с природой ценностей, их место в реальности, то есть связи различных ценностей между собой, социальными и культурными факторами. А, ah, it means axiology, it is about like different types of ethnoses. Axiology is the philosophical study of value. It includes questions about the nature and classification of value and about what kinds of things have very value. It is uh, intimately connected with various other philosophical fields that cru crucially depend on the notion of value, like ethics, uh, aesthetics of philosophy or religion. Yes, it is about kind of... Uh, we have... Look, the main approaches to to study, yes? To, to pedagogy. Anthropocentrically means that you are a human. We should be like humans. Take a, let's take a look at empathy, empathetical things. Let's uh, let's speak so like a uh, in a mini of psychology. We should feel each other. Let's hang out. Let's hug each other. And uh, the main purpose that you are as a human, you are growing. Amazing. Axiologically means that you are as a person of specific community. You are growing. For example, you are a businesswoman, or you are maybe ethnos. Some like you are from Zimbabwe and you are kind of oompa loompa and you are -la 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 -la, this type of person and i respect your rights i respect your things that you have and uh, kind of ethnoses it means that ethno you we understand you are a nation yes you have your own kind of traditions rituals we understand we respect anthropocentrically means that more for a human this more for a specific thing as you are inside of the community okay axiologically and uh, another things to so can speak about also psychology and things of this nature. Okay, личностно ориентированное обучение как способ формирования речи мыслительной способности учащихся. It means that we should. Uh, <laughs> it is a personal oriented approach to the form uh, forming specific uh, specific speech. To the person, he should speak in uh, in a Russian in a way of because of his specifics, because uh, because of his individuality. It means that if person is interested in Naruto, then speak about Naruto. It means uh, like Japanese uh, <laughs> Japanese uh, cartoons. If person is interested in something like Oh Jesus, I'm so inside of the Dostoevsky. Let's speak about the crime and punishment, okay? And about the Saint Petersburg, about Naruto. Then speak about about the village of Kanoha and it will be good for him and uh, let's uh, let's learn some Russian words based on his own experience because he has more associations inside his mind and it will be more understandable for him okay good коммуникативно деятельностный подход к обучению русскому языку the same communication you communicate and uh, you do psychology good Next. Содержание и структура курса. It means uh, в образовательных организациях разного типа. Oh, okay. We, ha <laughs> As I s it, we, already, we already know how to answer uh, f this uh, 15 questions. It is uh, the content and the structure of the course of Russian language. We have different, uh, different educational fields. For example, in my school we are learning. Let's... Put the the correct the correct letter inside of this stuff. Let's write the sentences and do grammatical rules. So let's do something like exercises for this stuff. If you learn it as you want to be a writer, then you have specific requests and you form the plan for the specific audience. As I said before, we, we talked about it already. Okay, it is a personal personal growth of uh, learners in a process process 
I mean that uh, the improvements of the learners in a process of uh, learning Russian language. Super easy. The same as uh, if they are interested in something. That let's go to this uh, to this uh, road. Okay, общие предметы и специальные цели обучения русскому языку в образовательных организациях разного уровня. It means that we have uh, общие предметные means uh, kind of kind of common things inside of the subject. Common co common things inside of the subject. It is общие предметные и специальные. It means that kind of super like into so like specific, 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 like super specific. And uh, it is about kind of uh, the main. We should know how to write sentences correct. Or we should know etiquette for a specific situation when when the employee, employee goes to our company and we are standing to each other. It is negotiating time and we can kind of communicate to each other. Yes, and it is the same. Окей, okay, next, uh, it will be программно-методическое обеспечение процесса обучения русскому языку в современном образовательном пространстве. It means that uh, you have programs, programs in the meaning of uh, program of computer, and also program you can create your own program. How to create? You need to know your audience first. And uh, the process of uh, learning, okay, and uh, in, uh, in uh, like co contemporary things, the main approach is uh, to organizing and uh, making the <laughs> the pedagogical stuff about Russian language in uh, in the main the main and the high school okay need to system spo spo what what is what is it Sistema Sistema spo one moment it means uh, Система среднего профессионального образования. It means the... Ah, okay. And what the, what the question? The main approach is to organization. And... Ah, we have different types of people. Yes, we can say about this question. We have different types of people. We have kind of old people. And they have their own psychology. They have own kind of uh, tricks inside of their heads. And uh, the same with uh, low quality. They are interested in another stuff. You, you speak about kind of birds and flying creatures. Uh, like birds, animals, bears and people who are in the beginning of your career. And when you're speaking about high school, you you are speaking about the main, the next level. You will go to the job, and then you will speak with your employees. Sometimes you speak about this. Okay, средства обучения русскому языку. It means the tools that you use to. Ah, one moment. Organizational form of teaching. Урок как ведущая форма обучения. Oh Jesus Christ! Some some hard words to explain. <laughs> Look, it it means that organizational forms of pedagogy. Wow, we have different types of organizations. First, uh, I mean that you can organize your your speaking as uh, you can speak in an amphith amphitheater sitting position, or you can sit in a like uh, it is different positions how you sit down. Even it matters, like when you sit in an amphitheater type of like speaking when you are near the flip chart and speaking to your to your students, and the same when you speak to the like huge amount of people who are sitting here and it is classrooms like with party rows rows of the tables. It is different things, and also. You should plan what will be on our agenda, on the agenda first, what to say, what are the requests for today's uh, things. And it all depends, uh, did you say something before, like, you should uh, do, you should do asking about homework, what was good, what was not good, what the need to improve, like, feedback, give me feedback, guys, first of all, did you understand the, my talk about preposition suffixes and uh, stuff of this nature, like uh, grammatic syntaxes and punctuation, yes, and, uh, okay, we understand it. The tools of learning Russian language, uh, <laughs> the student books, student complex, and uh, wow, and uh, <laughs> visual and hearing, hearing, наглядность means that uh, 
kind of it should be a dis a distant a distantability the <laughs> visual and hearing <laughs> understandability and учебные комплекты means uh, the specific kind of books we have uh, look i wrote a book here's the exercises inside of it and also we have specific rules like grammar look grammar book uh, one also student book workbook it is the complex of them and also we have some student books inside of the student books we have rules we have specific like terms we have specific notions we have notes inside of it maybe specific logography logography specific i mean that uh, symbols symbols logos and uh, we'll take a look wow amazing and uh, specific uh, cursive and uh, bold i mean that black black type of uh, <laughs> underlined things red color towards black colored and something understandable you know about it and зрительная и слуховая наглядность means that when you do your when you do like speaking with a person maybe you have a cd inside of it oh, jesus christ cd right now we have qr codes qr codes inside of it you have a phone okay let's take let's listen to the words amazing we understand it's kind of in any language you right now previously you used cds then you flash flash things and right now we have qr code you have uh, you can use your phone and Wow, amazing. We are inside of the subject. Okay, methods and uh, tricks. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, приёмы means that kind of, oh, Jesus, Kung Fu Panda. And uh, means that specific, uh, like, tools uh, of learning Russian language. Uh, methods means that, uh, again, feedback, you can speak, you can active listening, you can ask questions, you can uh, do kind of tests, you can do exercises, you can ask them, you can do homework, homework for a specific purpose, to find out uh, tests, to find out what's the next point of learning, and uh, always like checking, are we on the right way or not, and asking about this. Okay. Деятельность учения means the, the deals of learning, organization of uh, understanding, also закрепление means memorization and kind of wow we understand it and the homework of uh, and they, their work without the teacher in their homes, homeworks. And uh, it means organization of uh, learning and uh, teaching. It, it is uh, again about the tests, about the what the main concepts and need to say to them rules, what will be my marks for and uh, what does it mean. The main thing, it is not the mark that I give to them. It means that uh, the main goal for it, it is I kind of, uh, what, should I, what should I do guys, if I do uh, <laughs> if I do teaching in them, I do I forgot what I was speaking about. Need to need to memorize, need to bring them knowledge and need to bring them good stuff, okay? Uh, understandable. And uh, the деятельность обучения means uh, <laughs> organization, planning and some something like management, like specific ruling and uh, the feedback. Wow, оценивая means uh, assessments. Good. And uh, it is the same, kind of, we go to the subject, we sit there, we have rules, you are not, you are not doing a mess, you are shut up when, you, <laughs> I mean that, you are silent, you are silent while, while you speak, while you sit on my subject, <laughs> I mean that, you are not silent, I mean, you, you are kind of, uh, keep quiet, okay, it will be good, and, uh, only with your hand, if you have a question, okay, raise your hand, it will be good. And uh, we have a rule of zero, zero. It means uh, when time is 7.00 p.m., then we are going to home. And uh, before teacher says you something that uh, you have rules specific for your, uh, for your subject, for your lessons. Planning means that first five minutes will be for like asking about homework next 30 minutes will be for main body of your the whole cycle of your learning process and uh, last 10 minutes will be for maybe assessment again and feedback Ru uh, management management means that you have some someone who you say yes it was good yes it was nice and you have criteria of assessment nice and also assessment assessment means that you kind of uh, ah and about 
it's a management also, a ruling. Ruling means that if you are a, g a great guy, you should know what are the main criteria for you, as you are the main person of this school, and you are kind of rule. Yes, everything is good. Uh, Russian language in fifth grade is amazing, in sixth grade is amazing, and you have also, as a teacher, you have different classes maybe, yes? And also assessment, assessment uh, through tests, through speaking, through asking them what was nice, what, uh, what did you understand, what should we improve, okay? And integration! Yeah, last question, okay, 24 is ended, good, we know how to do this, feedback. And uh, 25th, uh, integration, integration and differentiation in pedagogy of Russian language. What is integration? First of all, let's ask themselves. It is uh, integration, it is when you can uh, integrate something inside, like you integrate your thing, means that connect, connect something with something. And uh, like, we have tool A, tool B, connect integration and uh, differentiation it is uh, when you disconnect them it is kind of you do this kind of when you do muscle work for example you are a workout person yes and you do workouts and you do isolated isolated for your biceps and uh, it is the same for f and uh, for the <laughs> for Russian language you can do this integra integrated like we connect with today we will go to literature and we will do something speaking about Lermontov and the same do you remember class we we were doing Lermontov learning Lermontov is a Russian writer author and uh, like great nice guy and uh, we were speaking about Lermontov wow and uh, ta let's take a look at grammar rules about him integration in something or maybe let's go to the classes of geography and it is connection meta meta subjects between them and Anthropology, do you, uh, again, let's uh, memorize again, Anthropo anthrop anthro uh, anthropocentrický, axiologický means uh, the anthropocentric and uh, axiol axiological, axiological for uh, eth ethnos and uh, anthropology for human, humans, okay, so th that's all, we remember, <laughs> it, it was kind of memorizing again, let's go back to the integration differentiation integration when we go go integration meta subject in and something like differentiation let's take a look at specific rules how to use this kind of point zapitaya uh, it means in russian language uh, when you do kind of сложно сочиненные предложения it means uh, some something hard 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 sentences uh, it means like past tenses uh, or maybe Present simple in in English, for example, it is. Let's take a look at this in in English language, but in Russian. Okay, that's all. We know how to use pedagogical stuff. I talked to you for forty three minutes, and if I have a possibility, then I will speak about this with my teacher. I I think that she will appreciate it. I was talking about them, and if she will ask, kind of. Hey Igor, you are not prepared, I will show this video, I was talking about this in English, not even in Russian, I think that she will appreciate it, thank you, thank you a lot, who is our teacher today, one moment, need to, need to take a look, I'm, if uh, my teacher is watching right now, I'm kind of uh, a little bit of sorry that I, I don't know your name, but right now I will know it, it's kind of mistake, but uh, mistake that we will learn from. One moment, so your name, it is, it is, it is, it is, Tatiana Mikhailovna Vaitilieva, Vaitilieva, yes, Tatiana Mikhailovna, Tatiana Mikhailovna is a good teacher, I think so, yes, and Tatiana Mikhailovna will be today, and I will be today too, after 55 minutes, right now I do, I will do something writing, some writing about this topic, I will do preparation, and uh, if she will ask me, like, uh, did you prepare Igor or not, I will show this video to her. I think that she will understand. At least it is better than someone who is, uh, maybe, uh, you know, some people only copy past. It is one, one more way how to solve a problem, like uh, how to solve a case. For example, if a teacher says to you, let's write a coursework, someone goes to internet, huh? Going cop copy, 
past, copy past, that's all, and it's my work, <laughs> let's take a look, and it, it took me five minutes, but I will not say to you that it took only five minutes, but right now I thought, I, I have told uh, you about this topic and every question that uh, I was preparing, really, good, I was ready, Today and even yesterday and today be, 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 be before yesterday like go 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 going back because I was preparing myself and rehearsing right now needs to do a little bit of work I will write and that's all I am prepared so thank you a lot for watching this video Fiona thank you a lot too for writing comments and to everybody Nazar too thank you a lot for writing to me and other viewers if you are interested in this talk I'm so glad and uh, I can talk about another subjects if you want and have a great day improve still daily go forward everything depends only on you you know let's go see ya next time bye bye